Hello, um, I'm now going to show you the second exercise um, of the uh, theory lecture. In this exercise, um, we are going to revisit the exercise we did in lecture 3. Remember where we um, worked, uh, calculated the maximum heart rate of a male and female. In exercise 3, we had two buttons. When you click on the female button, it gave us the heart rate of the female. If you clicked on the male button, we, it gave us the maximum heart rate of the male. Now, just uh, um, recall that, um, as I explained last week, that there are existing formulas to work out this maximum heart rate, depending on whether you're male or female. And here it is given on the slide. The maximum heart rate for a female is 209 minus a constant 0 0.7 times the age. Maximum heart rate for a male is 214 minus 0 0.8 times the age. Now, uh, remember, we're busy with if statements in this lecture. And the way we're going to use it, we are going to change the interface from what it was last week. And instead of two buttons, we're going to have two radio buttons. And depending on which radio button you click or which one you check, um, it will uh, give the maximum heart rate. So let's start with the program. I already created the interface. As you can see, we use a numeric up down. Last week we used a text box. Then we have a group box and gender with two radio buttons, female and male. Then we have a button called button calculates which, um, that is used for um, triggering the process, namely the calculation of the maximum heart rate. And then finally the final heart rate is um, displayed in the um, in the output. Okay. All right. Um, in the label. Okay. So just notice that remember in the previous exercise of this lecture, we had to make sure that the the text box are not left empty. In this case, we don't need to do it because. Since you use a numeric app down, there will be a default value in it, namely zero, as you can see. Okay. So uh, let's start with the uh, programming the button click event handler. Okay. So I'm first going to um, just add comments of the different parts of the program. So we start off by declaring variables. Then we get the user's age. Then uh, we are going to calculate the maximum heart rate depending on the chosen gender. Then we're going to display the result. Okay. So we start off by uh, declaring a variable int age, then double uh, max heart. Rate. Uh, okay, I want it to be max heart rate. Okay, and then we have the two uh, constants, constant double. I'm going to call it female factor, and that is equal to 0 0.7. So this is the female constant. And then constant uh, double. So I call it um, M factor, and that is 0 0.8. And let me just, uh, I forgot the semicolon. This is the male. Okay, let's just make it a bit neater. Okay, so there I have um, the different variables and the different constants. Okay, how do I get the age? The age comes from the uh, numeric up down. Okay, so there I have the age. Okay. Now, up to now, it's more or less what we had last week. Now we are going to add if statement. 
So depending on which um, radio button is checked, a certain calculation will be done. So if the radio button female is checked, then I want the following to happen. Um, then the maximum heart rate equals, and then I use the formula um, that I explained earlier. So it's F factor times H. Okay. Else, in other words, if it's not the um, female the uh, button or radio button that was checked, but the male, and that's possible. Um, then the max heart rate is equal to 214 minus, and now it's the M factor, so now we're busy with male, times the H. Okay, so there I have the, the two possibilities. And now I'm going to display the result. And it is displayed in this control. So I say max um, heart rate is convert to string and then I what do I convert a string? I convert the variable. Okay, so let's see what happens if I run this program. So how old are you? Okay, let's say we say 17. Click on female. What is the maximum heart rate? 197.1. If it's male, what's the maximum heart rate? It's much more. Okay. Right, so, yeah, that's all um, for this, this exercise.